Hey there, welcome to Kung Fu Physics where we are working our way through practice physics GRE problems. The problem I have for you this very early morning is uh, number 45 off of the 1992 exam. 45, 92 exam. Very short, very easy mechanics problem. And so uh, this won't take long at all. Let's finish it off. Quick glance at the answers there, doesn't help any. It's just uh, various measures of something H, so I uh, don't get too excited about those answers. I glance at them and then I start the problem. Number 45, a ball is dropped from a height H. As it bounces off the floor, its speed is 80% of what it was just before it hit the floor. The ball will then rise to a height of most nearly. So. Conceptually, what we have here is a ball that is hitting the ground in a non-elastic collision. In other words, energy is not conserved. Energy is uh, being lost due to things like friction, uh, well, heat being generated by the collision, and sound, and things like that. It's more realistic as far as a, a problem goes. So um, let's just go ahead and, and do the problem. It's, like I said, very straightforward. Energy is conserved. However, as the ball is falling from its initial height. So it starts at height H with this potential energy. That energy is completely converted to kinetic energy right before it hits the ground. So I get the relation MGH equals 1 half MV squared. You get very quick to cross these things off and it, you know, I'm writing it here because I'm solving the problem for video, but um, you know, if you want to take the shortcut and not even write the masses there and you get so used to doing problems like that, go for it. You can solve for V here. You get V equals square root of 2GH. And now from there I can get V prime. And what V prime is going to be, whereas V is the speed right before the ball hit the ground, V prime is the collision, the speed right after the collision as the ball is coming back up. And the problem has given us that that is 0.8 times the velocity. So I get 0.8 times square root 2gh. Like that. Okay, so that's V prime. I set up another relation over here, mgh prime equals 1 half mv prime squared. Drop off the m's. I can move the g over or I can just leave it there at this point. Uh, I see the v prime squared here and I want to substitute for that. And I've already have a relation here for v prime so I can easily say well what is v prime squared? And I just square this jump. 0.8 squared is just 0.64, right? It's just 8 times 8 which is 64 times the square root of 2gh which of course is just when we square that we get 2gh so I get v prime squared equals 0 0.64 times 2gh and I substitute that back into my relation up here so I end up with gh prime equals one half times that stuff Okay, so at this point I can cancel the two and the one half. I cancel a G on either side and it comes out beautifully, right? H prime equals 0 0.64 times H. Is that one of my answers? Check it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Number D, letter D rather, 0.64 times the height. And conceptually, it makes sense to me. Um, I would go ahead and pick that pretty confidently. Uh, answer D, 0.64 times the height. And there you have it. That is uh, a very easy mechanics problem, just using some conservation of, of energy stuff. And that's number 45 off the 92 exam. Study hard. Catch you next time.